children and grandchildren the chance to fulfill our dreams thanks to scholarships and student loans like some of you are on. That's the America I know. That's the choice in this election. We want to make permanent the tax cuts for middle class Americans. You deserve a break. Instead of cutting education and student aid, we want to make permanent our new college tax credit that's worth $10,000 of tuition relief for each young person going to four years of college. We want to make it clear that in good times and in bad times, no young Americans can have to sacrifice the dream of a college education just because they can't afford it. That's what we believe. I take control of Congress, they'll spend the next two years fighting to preserve tax breaks for companies that create jobs and profits overseas. Billions of dollars in taxpayer subsidies that we lose each year. Over the last 20 months, we've had, we, we, we've taken the step of closing a lot of these tax loopholes. And, and over the next two years, we're going to fight to give tax breaks to companies that are actually creating jobs here in the United States of America. It's a small business. Clean energy companies, the American manufacturers, the entrepreneurs who are researching and investing and innovating right here in the United States. That's who we want to help, and that's the choice in this country. If the other side takes back Congress, they promise to give back power to the same special interests we've been fighting for the last 20 months. In every state, including right here in Wisconsin, you've got millions of dollars pouring in from special interests. I refuse to let that happen. I refuse to go back to the days when insurance companies could deny you coverage or drop your coverage just because you're sick. Just the other day, I was, I was talking to a woman who did not have health insurance, even though she was working at a school. <laughs> Contracted cancer, was not sure whether she was going to have to use the entire college fund that she'd saved for her kids in order to get treatment. Fortunately, because of the health reform we signed, she now has coverage. But they don't want to roll it back. They don't think that makes sense. I refuse to go back to days when credit card companies can jack up your rates without reason. I refuse to go back to days where taxpayer-funded Wall Street bailouts end up being necessary. We can't allow the special interest to take the reins again. We've got to keep on fighting. There's too much at stake right now. So, 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 Madison, it, it comes down to this. And I'm not just talking to Madison, by the way, because there are 200 campuses across the country who are plugged in through your webcams and house parties. So I'm speaking to everybody out there. <laughs> many, many of the folks in the other party who are running today are the exact same people who spent the last decade driving our economy into the ditch. So me and Russ Bangle, Danny Baldwin, we, we all went down into the ditch. And we put on our boots. And it was muddy down there and dirty and dusty. And, and we were sweating and, and we, we were pushing the car out of the ditch. And every so often we'd look up and see the Republicans standing there. They're, they're just standing there, sipping, sipping on a slurpee, <laughs> waving at us. We said, well, come on down, help. He said, no, 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 but you should push harder. You're not pushing the right way. But, but, but we understood we had to get the car out of the ditch, so we're pushing and we're pushing. Finally. Finally, we get it up on level ground. Finally, we get it up on level ground. And look, let's face it, it's a little dented, and a little busted, and it needs a tune-up, and fenders all you know, need to be hammered out a little bit, a good paint job. But we're, we're finally on level ground, we're moving forward. Suddenly, we get a tap on the shoulder, and we look behind us, and who is it? It's the Republicans, and they're asking for the keys back. And we've got to tell them, you can't have the keys back. You don't know how to drive. You don't know how to drive again. I'm 
and I hope everybody's noticed when, when you want to go forward in your car, what do you do? You, you put it in D. When you want to go backwards, you put it in R. overseas and they're not sure what's happening. And we are in charge. And they're saying, well, why hasn't change happened faster? And so it's you can persuade them maybe to give the Republicans the keys back if, 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 if they're not hearing the other side of the argument. So a lot of them are fired up. And thanks to a recent Supreme Court decision, they are being helped along this year, as I said, by special interest groups that are allowed to spend unlimited amounts of money on attack ads. They don't even have to disclose who's behind the ads. You've all seen the ads. Every one of these groups is run by Republican operatives. Every single one of them. Even though they're posing as nonprofit groups with names like Americans for Prosperity, the Committee for Truth in Politics, or Americans for Apple Pie. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I made that last one up. <laughs> but, but, but this is why, look, this is why we've got to work even harder in this election. This is why we've got to fight their millions of dollars with millions of our voices. Voices who are ready to finish what we started in 2008. Because if everybody who wants to change in 2008, shows up to vote in 2010, we will win. Because your poll numbers are down. That's how everything is measured. But you did. 
didn't elect me to look at the polls. You elected me to do what was right. You elected me to do what was right. That would change. You would change. That 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 would change. And you got involved. What was different about this campaign is because you believed this was the moment to solve the challenges that the country had ignored for far too long. That involvement can't end with the vote that you cast in 2008. That election was not just about putting me in the White House. It was about building a movement for change that went beyond any one campaign or any one candidate. It was about remembering that in the United States of America, our destiny is not written for us. It is written by us. That is the, that is the blessing of this country. The power to shape our future lies in our hands. But only if we're willing to keep working for it and fighting for it and keep believing the change is possible. So, that's what's being tested right now. That's what's being tested. We are being tested. The question is, are we going to have the courage to keep moving forward, even in the face of difficulty, even in the face of uncertainty? This election is not about what we've done. It's about the work we have left to do. It's, what, it's about what you want this country to look like over the next two years. It's about your future. So Madison, get out there and shape it. Get out there and fight for it. I need your help, Madison. We need you to commit the vote. We need you to place the vote. We need you to knock on doors. We need you to talk to neighbors. We need you to make phone calls. We need you to bring energy and passion and commitment because if we do, if you're willing to step up to the plate and realize that change is not a spectator sport, we will not just win this election. We are going to restore our economy. We are going to rebuild the middle class. We will reclaim the American dream for this generation. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you.